Uh, I'm here to rebut the defamatory statements made at the last meeting about me and other concerned parents in this community. First, the idea that because a group of parents are concerned about pornographic material being available in schools means queer people are not safe in the United States, in California, in Elk Grove, it's patently absurd. With the current spike in violent crime in, in major cities, Elk Grove might be the safest place for queer people in the whole freaking world. And no one wants queer people to be less safe. The person who accused me and other parents of doxing her and making her feel unsafe felt so unsafe about her LGBTQ activacy that she hosted an all-ages drag story time at her business and felt safe enough to advertise the event on social media. Now, I am personally against doxing people, so I looked into the accusations to find out who did it and admonish the people responsible if possible. All I found was someone reposting videos from the event, and from what I could tell, every child at the event was under the age of 12. So she felt safe enough to host a sexually explicit dance routine in front of a bunch of prepubescent kids without any legal repercussions. Strip clubs, bars, and casinos would love to feel that unsafe. Also, if you genuinely feel unsafe for exercising your First Amendment rights, do what most of my friends had to do years ago when they began participating in any sort of activism. Exercise your Second Amendment rights. Moving on to the statement that my position kills students and increases rates of suicide. Well, I wish I had known 25 years ago that failure to have porn available in public schools led to teenage suicide. That would have been made for a great conversation with my high school principal. Seriously, though, the accusation that I want policies that lead to more suicide, my dad committed suicide. Accusing me of wanting anyone to get to the point where they think death is the only reprieve from their grief or that I want any family member to have to pick up the pieces in the aftermath is disgusting. And no one wants that for any queer person or their family. To say otherwise is nonsense. Now, I don't know if she realizes what it means when you say you feel unsafe. But when you feel physically unsafe, who do you call? You call the police. I think she was being honest that this is not an issue the city council should be involved in. But directly or indirectly, I think she was saying she wanted you involved, Chief. When you say you are not safe, that means that you want the police involved. Because of this, I have three questions for the Chief of Police. One, should I warn the parents who are against porn in schools that the police, local, county, state are watching us? Two, do I need to go home, tell my wife to be prepared for the police to show up to question me for thought crime? And three, if I do, can you do me two, two favors? Please, one, bring a warrant. And if you don't have a warrant, please knock. Even Stalin had a DC to knock. Thank you, sir. And Mr. Thompson, if you're interested, please reach out to me via email. I would love to have a cup of coffee with you.